The world of humans changed and the warrior E entered their domain. The villagers thrive on rituals meant to bring them closer to the Sauls, the gods who watch over them. But E knows the truth. The Sauls are tyrants ruling over a sleeping empire, ruthlessly harvesting life forms for the energy in their organs. E was nearly killed by the Sauls when he last invoked their wrath. This time, he'll just have to be more thorough. Nine Sauls is an action platformer with combat modeled after that of Sekiro. E has a standard attack combo and dodge, but the central mechanic is a parry. Careful timing enables E to not only stop most attacks, but to follow up by planting a chi-infused explosive rune on the target. Use of the parry isn't strictly necessary, at least not until you get to the bosses, but tougher encounters get a lot easier if the player has mastered the skill. There are other approaches to combat, and even stealth is somewhat viable as it's possible to sneak up on a target for a surprise attack. Nine Souls is sort of a Metroidvania light. E gains new movement skills at select parts of the game, but the focus is more on technical combat than platforming or exploration. Do be prepared for some challenging platforming, though. While the game is relatively forgiving and that a mistake usually isn't instant death, some sequences do require very tight controls. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the graphical style. Nine Souls is described as a Taopunk, set in the future but featuring a lot of classical Chinese iconography. Standard enemies are designed to resemble Imperial soldiers, while many major enemies and allies are based on Taoist immortals or mythical figures from Chinese history. The graphics and music both feature an otherworldly, often surreal vibe that is very unlike anything else in the market right now. It's an aesthetic that can keep you playing just out of curiosity and wonder.